What's going on everyone? Out at the cabin today. Beautiful spring day. I think we're up to probably plus 10. So the snow's melting fast. I see around here it's uh it's pretty much gone. Anything that's left is like really rotten and it's doesn't have much time left. Anyway, we're gonna be looking at uh, uh clean up the, the property a bit here. I got a bunch of one big blow down right here that I have to buck up and do something with. And then I'll uh clean up any other other trees and wood that's laying around kind of at a standstill with the cabin right now um looking looking to do the roof here the next project but as it is right now with uh, the cabin itself there's just some odds and ends that i gotta do and what i'll do is instead of you know videotaping all that i'll just get it done and show the the final result anyway pricing out a roof i was thinking about uh switching it up i was gonna go tin roof <clears throat> but i think i might go shingle i haven't decided yet so um I think uh, shingles is more cost effective. So, but we'll price it. I haven't priced it out yet. It's been hearing by hearing uh, <clears throat> from people and talking, and tin tin's a little bit more expensive. So, and uh, also today I'll be um, kind of selecting or um, getting ready an area for the chainsaw milling. Um, I want a designated spot for that. So not all over the place right i'll get it uh, set up cleared and kind of half-ass leveled uh, get some timbers uh, set up for you know milling off with the chainsaw mill and uh, who knows possibly in the future getting an actual bandsaw mill to play around with that uh, we'll see see how it goes i like the idea of making my own uh making my own lumber though it, uh, it's intrigued me for a few years so we'll give her a try and see how how well i do at it as uh as if or as for the chainsaw mill though i'll be uh i got them waiting for a part right now i got uh my uh my big husqvarna it's got a 28 inch bar on it right now and i need a 24 inch bar for the rip ch ripping chain and and the actual mill itself so i have one on order and uh, i'm just waiting for it for whatever reason it's not here yet so um i think it's supposed to be here next week sometime anyway we'll uh we'll uh carry on with what I got to do today, do some brush cleanup and buck up uh, a blowdown or two and uh, carry on. This one's thirsty.
This is where we're at so far with that tree. <clears throat> Had a couple little snags. Saw and pinched bar. And it bucked up any wood this size for a while, so it was a little rusty. A little rusty on how reading the tree is important, so not a big deal. I ended up getting getting them out. Saw's running real good. Take a look at these shavings. Beautiful. So yeah, here's left it'll blow down. Let's see here. Go down that way. It was actually hung up in this spruce for probably a month. And I guess just the right wind came and knocked her down. When I originally saw it tipped over, I was going, oh man, how am I going to get it un unsnagged from that spruce? But it came down by itself, so good. That was less work for me to figure out how to do that without uh, causing too much damage or, you know, unsafe or whatever. So I'm glad it turned out that way. So we'll clean this brush up here. Um, I was actually thinking about making this little spot here, the milling site. Just because it's out of the way, right? And I think it's level enough I can I can work with it without uh, bringing a piece of equipment in here. And I'm not going to be doing much of this piece anyway. So, for well, not that I can foresee in the, in, the, in the near future. So, clean that up and that can just be the area where I, I mill the wood with the chainsaw mill. So, quite a bit of rubbish and branches and wood and stuff to clean up. I don't want to do something with this this pile here. It's uh, more of the same as a uh, dead poplar in there. You got to buck up, and then I'll just get rid of this brush somewhere, clean it up. But as you can see, the property here. Yeah, and then I want to clean this up as well. But all in good time. All right, I think we're done for today. Got quite a bit of uh, work done bucking up these uh, blowdown logs, clearing up a bunch of debris. Still quite a bit left to do. I'll have to come back here another day or so and uh, pick up where I left off. Um, kind of want to get this area clear, cleared and prepped and ready to start milling because I think my uh, <clears throat> the bar will be in here next week sometime. So get there set up and that much closer to, to getting the job done. Anyway, uh, we'll call that, call that for today. Um, thanks for joining me. Talk to you later.